Hello everyone, in this video I'll be covering the basics and some steps to do before getting the IFR clearance, so let's begin. First of all, we have to understand the meanings of the ATIS, flight level, the semicircular rule, and flight plan. The ATIS. The Automatic Terminal Information Service provides regular information to aircraft arriving at and departing from an airport. The ATIS is updated hourly or when there is a controller change in progress or a controller claiming the tower in ATC24. The ATIS report includes The ATIS designator, for example, information Alpha, Bravo or Charlie, changes with the ATIS updates. The active runways for departures and arrivals. Notes to airmen, also known as NOTAMs, which have requests such as in the initial contact, report aircraft type and stand number, for example. And charts available for using seats and stars in your flight plan. Flight level. Flight level is altitude expressed in the hundreds of feet in three digits, like 1000 feet is flight level 010 and 10,000 feet is flight level 100. Flight level is used in both flight plans and radio communications. The semicircular rule. This rule basically means that eastbound flights must file an odd flight level and westbound flights must file an even flight level as explained in the picture below. Flight plan. Flight plans are documents filed by pilots that provide information to controllers like the call sign, aircraft type, flight rules, departure and arrival airports, routes, and flight level. The call sign. For the call sign, you can use the one in game, for example, Lufthansa 1, 2, 3, 4. Or you can use the ICAO code of the airline with the same numbers as shown here. You can also put letters in your call sign like Lufthansa 1, 2, Mike, Lufthansa 1, X-Ray Alpha, or Lufthansa 3, 4, Kilo. If your aircraft type is a heavy, you can put the word heavy in your call sign like Lufthansa 1, 2, heavy. You can put custom call signs if you're flying in a blank livery like Air Berlin 1, 2, heavy, while your in game call sign can be something like Osprey 1, 2, 3, 4. Do note that you cannot put numbers after letters like Lufthansa Kilo Mike 2. And don't use unrealistic or inappropriate call signs. And flight rules. Flight rules are either instrument flight rules or visual flight rules. You can check the ATC24 rules channel in the ATC24 Discord for which aircraft category can use which flight rules in what situation. Routes. Your route can be either flying direct or via using a standard instrument departure and a standard terminal arrival routes or via radar vectors and then direct. And hello again, it's time to put your headset on. Well, not really, because I'm not connected to ATC24. I'm gonna simulate ATC by myself, so uh, yep. Okay then, uh, stuff to do before getting the IFR clearance. Let me see, yep. Check the ATIS. Information is Zulu, the active runway is max taxi speeds. No times if you want to read that, obviously, uh, and charts if you want to use SIDS. Well, you use factors for departure today.
and now you can connect to the uh, right frequency. If ground is online, you can go there and uh, request your IFR clearance there. And if tower is online, without ground, you can go to the tower frequency and you can request the IFR there. And when you connect to the right frequency, you can do a radio check if you want to, but it will waste some time. And your clearance goes something like this. Rock for delivery, uh, Guten Tag, Lufthansa 82 Mike, stand 1-2, IFR temperature with information Zulu. At a Lufthansa 82 Mike, uh, Rock for delivery, uh, Guten Tag, information Zulu is correct, your clear IFR temperature has filed, vector departure runway 25 left, initial climb 2000 feet, and squawk 1123. And you're obviously gonna read back. So, uh, cleared off right to Perth, as filed, vector departure runway 25 left, initial climb 2000 feet, and squawk 1123. Lufthansa 82 Mike, carry back correct, report ready for push and start. And also, he can clear for push after the readback. So, uh, it can go something like this Lufthansa 82 Mike, carry back correct. Push and start approved, facing north on Kilo, QNH 1016. Facing north, so it will be like this direction. So, yep. And uh, the next part is going to be about pushback, taxi, and takeoff. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. See ya.